Welcome to Tuesday's session, guys. Today's workout is called Meet the Press. It's an 18 minute AMRAP. Okay, and there's three rounds within a round, if you will. Okay, so we're going to hit 21 calories in the rower, 12 some kind of toes to bar option, and then we're going to hit nine strict presses into round two, where we hit 21 or 15 calories in our rower, 12 toes to bar option, and then 15 push press using some leg, and then we're going to hit round three of 21 or 15 calories on the rower, 12 of our toes to bar option, and then 21 push jerks. All three rounds makes a round, then we go back to the beginning. Looking to get two rounds plus done in this 18 minute window. So to get one nine minute EMOM, we're gonna row in minute number one, we're gonna V up in minute number two, I'm gonna come out of my box a little bit, so you can see this. I want a straight leg in this V up, right? So I could go single leg or double leg, I can hit my toes, the tongue of my shoes, the top of my socks, the middle of my shin. I don't care what you hit, but I want a straight leg. Single arm or double arm, or single leg or double leg. So we could be looking at something that looks a bit like this. Or we could go. Both legs together. But legs will stay straight throughout. Minute number three, I'm gonna grab a dumbbell. I should have one in my box. We're gonna look at some dumbbell pressing. So we could look at strict pressing it, dumbbell on the shoulder, elbow forward, stretching all the way up and through, or we could go push press, dip, drive, punch overhead. Include both in your warm up. All right, from there we're gonna hit our barbell warm up, getting happy and comfortable on that barbell. So, we're gonna hit 20 elbow rotations. Could be single arm, could be double arm, could be the front or back of your shoulders. We'll then go five front squats. Five presses overhead, plus that stretch backwards. Five good mornings, toes forward, soft knee, big chest. And then five back squats. From here, we just gonna do some prep work for that push jerk. So I'm gonna press the bar overhead, keep driving up, put my feet where I squat. Slight squat position, 10 tiny jumps. We're then going to look at that strict press. So my toes point forward, we're going to do at least five reps here. Legs staying straight, press, and back to the shoulder. We're then going to look at a push press. I'm going to bend at the knee, snap my legs straight, and keep pushing. Which is different to our final movement, the push jerk, where I'm going to get back under the bar. Those push presses and those push jerks are not to be confused. From here, I'm gonna build up to workout weight. Looking for a weight where I could strip press that bar for 10 unbroken reps when I'm fresh. We're then gonna come and play with some toes to bar. So, let's get Monday's boxes out of the way. Not that I'm gonna demo up there because I'm way too tall for that. So, I'm gonna start off with finding a 10 second hollow or dish hold. So I'm looking at rolling my hips underneath and creating that banana shape to my body. I don't want to be here, but here. Uh, if you pivot around from there. So I'm looking to jump up, tuck my butt under so I've got that banana shape. I don't want to have my butt stuck out here. Instead it's tucked under here. 10 seconds hold, 10 seconds arch hold. Next up, we're going to take those two positions Flick back and forth between them. Legs are straight. Next up, add some push and pull onto that pull-up bar. Next up, when I'm back here, I'm just gonna break at the hip, throw my toes up towards the bar. I'm gonna go 10 reps, okay, going a little bit higher each time. Maybe you finish with your legs not quite a parallel. Maybe you finish with your toes up at like 10 o'clock on a clock. Maybe you finish with a toes to the bar, but over 10 reps, we're just gonna get a little bit higher. Legs staying straight throughout those 10 reps. Voila. We're then gonna identify a mark on the horizon, the floor, the wall at the end of the room maybe something on the ceiling that you can cover up to keep those 12 toes to bar unbroken throughout most of the workout. 
should be a level on that toaster bar where you can do 21 unbroken reps when fresh, all right? There's a lot of toaster bars to get through, so pick a level where that 12 unbroken is an option. Maybe we go six and six in the workout, but now you're fresh, you're warm, you could do 21 unbroken. We're then gonna have a look at a demo round, which you can see on Sugarwad, just below me, and then we'll get the workout done. Team, catch you in the gym. Toodles.